During its latest earnings call for the second quarter of 2020, AMD once again reaffirmed its plan to introduce Zen 3-based Ryzen 4000 series desktop CPUs and RDNA 2-based Radeon RX Navi 2X GPUs in the second half of 2020. AMD stated that both its CPU and GPU products are on track and also provided an insight of its next generation products featuring sub 7 nanometer process nodes and launches in the coming years. Now, AMD just posted its second all time high revenue during Q2 of 2020, and the company revealed its best is yet to come. Now, according to AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su, AMD is on track to introduce two new key products later this year. Now, these include the client-aimed Ryzen 4000 series desktop CPUs, which are codenamed Vermeer and will be powered by the Zen 3 core architecture, as well as the Radeon RX desktop discrete graphics cards codenamed Navi 2X, which will be powered by the RDNA 2 GPU architecture. AMD has also recently confirmed that Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 series desktop processors would mark its continue of its high performance journey. The Zen 3 architecture would be first available on consumer desktop platforms with the launch of Vermeer family of CPUs that will replace the third gen Ryzen 3000 Matisse family of CPUs. In addition to Zen 3 based consumer CPUs, AMD also talked about Zen 3 powered Epic lineup codenamed Milan. The third generation Epic Milan family is stated to be on track to ship later this year. A while ago, AMD confirmed that they have Zen 3 Ryzen 4000 CPUs running in their labs and now are able to confirm that Epic Milan CPUs are also looking good in the labs as well. Now, while Epic Milan is a major driver for AMD in 2021, AMD still expects some huge wins with its existing second gen Epic Roam CPUs. On that matter, AMD states that they are still a number of OEMs and cloud-based platforms that are expected to launch in the second half of this year and during the first half of 2021. From the looks up, it, Epic Milan will start picking up momentum by the second half of 2021 as the company continues to work with its customers on Milan. Now, AMD has also confirmed its first Zen 4 powered Epic Genoa lineup to be introduced in the second half of 2021, and we can expect the first shipments commencing by the end of 2021 as well. There could be no AMD's earnings call without discussing graphics, and AMD CEO has confirmed that RDNA 2 and CDNA 1 GPUs are expected to launch later this year. AMD CEO also termed RDNA 2 as Big Navi, once again highlighting the fact that we will get to see an enthusiast-grade GPUs first before moving into the mainstream stack. Now, AMD has previously confirmed that the Big Navi GPU will be the first RDNA 2 product to launch this year and even before the launch of the next generation consoles. And Lisa Su also stated that RDNA 2 isn't just aimed at the high-end market, but will be a full refresh from top of the stack to the rest of the stack. This means that AMD is just aiming at the enthusiast segment first and will introduce mainstream performance offerings within the first half of 2021. Now, David Kumar, CFO of AMD, also revealed that the RDNA 2 architecture goes through the entire stack, which means that we won't be just getting a high-end product, but also mainstream and the high-end graphics cards under the enthusiast segment at a much more affordable price point. In addition to existing products, AMD also highlighted its next generation product roadmap for Epic Genoa based on TSMC's leading edge 5 nanometer process, which is on track for 2021. Now, AMD's roadmaps also confirmed that RDNA 3, CDNA 2, and Zen 4 are expected to make their first debut in 2021. The latest roadmaps are also interesting since that AMD's Ryzen lineup goes to 2021 with Ryzen 4000 Vermeer desktop CPUs, but the RDNA 3 gaming GPU lineup goes to 2022 with the Navi 3X based products. It's possible that AMD is likely to launch Zen 4 with its server Epic Genoa family first, while next generation Zen 4 based Ryzen CPUs could be introduced in early 2022, marking a year since the launch of Ryzen 4000 series desktop CPUs. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.